Our speaker today is Linda, and Linda's going to tell us all about your financial health. Linda, please take it away. Hello. So today I'm going to talk about annuities. I think annuities, being in the business over the 20 years, I've found is one of the most misunderstood products that are out, out there to have in your portfolio. So what is an annuity? Basically, it's an insurance policy on a pool of dollars. Instead of being on your life, it's on the money. So you give the money a premium to the insurance company, and in turn for that, they give you different benefits. So there's all different kinds of annuities, from deferred, which means you put the money in and it sits for a while, to immediate, which means you put the money in and you immediately start getting paid up. There's variable, which means it goes into the stock market, and then there's fixed, which means they give you a guaranteed fixed rate of return. So there's a lot of, lot of ins and outs about it. So, now you might think you've heard some bad news about annuities. Did you know that Social Security is actually a type of an annuity? Most people didn't realize that. So, uh, I mean, who doesn't like knowing that they've got some income coming to them for the rest of their life? Another form of annuity is a lottery ticket. So, when you ever hear somebody win a lump sum of money, and they can either get a payout, like immediate, or they can get a lifetime payout, that's basically another form of annuity. Another type of annuity would be, years ago, employers used to offer an employee defined benefit plan where the employee could put money into the account or the employer or both. And then after they worked so many years about putting the money into the account, when they got ready to retire, they could turn that on and then have a certain set of stream of income for the rest of their life. Again, so annuities are not so bad as a lot of, a lot of people think they are. If you want to find out too, how much you're going to get from your government annuity, you can go to ssa.gov slash my account slash retire hyphen CALC for calc. So again, that's ssa.gov backslash my account slash retire hyphen calc. All right. So now how do they get started? The, according to Wikipedia, the first known one was started back in 1720 by the Presbyterian churches. They realized the pastors were not making enough money to be able to afford to live in retirement, so they created a pool of dollars that they could later on use to give to the pastors to fund their retirement. In fact, the idea came from the Roman Empire from the word annua, which means annual stipend. So, hi, I'm Linda Lovey, Lovey Wealth Management, been in the business for over 20 years, and like I said, I think annuities are like one of the most misunderstood products that there are because people didn't understand what they're getting into. To help you understand that, I'm gonna use a car analogy. So let's say you're making a lot of long trips. You have to drive a lot. Would you want a gas guzzling four wheel drive? Probably not. You probably want a more economical car. So then, all right, so let's say you go over the pass a lot you have to deal with snow or you go off roading would that little economical car be a good fit for you probably not again now you might want to go to that four wheel drive what about if you have a family with a lot of kids would that little car work would you want a gas guzzling four wheel drive you might want to find something that's you know more of a family type of car so just like cars you have to buy the right fit annuities are the same thing so the way you find out what is the right thing to get into, you work with a financial professional like me, and they will help look at your, what your scenarios are and help you figure out what might be a good fit. Um, when you do get into one, you are, by law, we have to give you some kind of a guide. This is to help people be more educated. So you can take it home, research it, do more information on it, don't jump into it, because it is a little more complicated. When they first came out, they were very, very simple. And they became more and more sophisticated as investors became more sophisticated, which is how all the bells and whistles got started being offered. So some of the different things would be uh, like, um, if you wanted a guaranteed rate of return, that would be like a fixed annuity. Or if you wanted to be in the stock market, but you wanted some protection, or you wanted a lifetime income stream. So there's all different kinds of bells and whistles. So again, before you just jump to the conclusion thinking the annuities are bad, make sure you do the research on it and make sure you're getting into just like a car, you want to get into the right car. So let's see, um, uh, disclaimers is normal, you know, with them being in the financial industry. 
So fixed annuities are long-term investments. They are an insurance contract. With annuities, you do have a surrender period. So the money is not to be put in there and then pulled right back out. The, uh, it's very illiquid in a way that can be an advantage for somebody who's not uh, very disciplined to leaving the money aside. It makes you have to leave that money in there because otherwise you pay a penalty. If you take it out before you're 59 and a half, there's also a penalty. It's the government's way of helping us to stay disciplined to put money aside and leaving it aside. Uh, if you go into a variable annuity, there are different investment risks because you are into the market. But again, there could be protections that can help on the market side, depending on what kind of annuity you buy. There are median annuities, which means you can put the money in immediate and have the money coming in immediately or deferred where you put the money in and you let it sit and grow and do whatever it's supposed to do and get the payout from there. And uh, let's see if you're invested in the stock market, you're actually buying uh, sub accounts. So there is that variation of what the market can do. So again, um, Linda Levy, Levy Wealth Management. And uh, if you want to find out more, please give me a call at 775-544-4714. And this video will be up on my website, which is www.llovie.com. It will also be on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much.